Studying science in college can mean cutting-edge research and can put you on the fast track to graduate or medical school. But picking the right place requires more than just taking the official tour. U.S. News hit the road this spring to visit four science colleges in the Northeast. We ventured into the Wright Brothers Wind Tunnel at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts, examined one of only four geotechnical centrifuges in the nation at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York, tried out the environmental lifestyle at the State University of New York College of Environmental Science and Forestry in Syracuse, New York, and trolled around the Adirondack State Park to reach Clarkson University in Potsdam, New York. Our road trip led us into labs, dorms, dining halls, and libraries to try to find out what it's like to be a science student and how to pick the school where you'll fit in with the often quirky culture of your fellow scientists. Right. So you can tell that it's stronger because... As a potential scientist, you'll want to ask all the basic questions about housing, financial aid, and dining plans, but you should also ask about opportunities for undergraduate research. Participating in science research can be beneficial even if you don't want to be a scientist after you graduate. Conducting research allows you to create new knowledge as opposed to just absorbing it in class. It can give you valuable work experience that you can put on a resume. Research also allows you to cultivate a relationship with the professor you are working with, which, in addition to absorbing their expertise, is sure to result in a much better letter of recommendation for a job or graduate school than a letter from a professor who's only seen you in class a few times. Try to visit a lab that specializes in the type of science you are most interested in pursuing. If you're not sure what kind of science interests you most, any lab will do. Just be sure to ask the undergraduates working there how to find research positions and how many hours per week they are expected to work. You could also try to sit in on a lecture or lab class. Each college has its own culture, so you'll also want to see how much time is spent talking about science outside the classroom. While students at MIT often stage elaborate scientific pranks during their downtime, RPI students have been known to grow science experiments in their dorm room. A Clarkson student might be plotting their future business plan, while ESF students tend to get back to nature at ESF field sites all over the world. Just don't be shy. Scientists are often more than happy to tell a potential student about their latest cutting-edge research. This is Emily Brandon for U.S. News & World Report.